Uh, Adam Friedman, uh, Vice President at CSD Structural Engineers. The Museum of Fine Arts Houston project, one of the things there was the perimeter of the building was all cast in place concrete walls. Every piece of steel had to tie into an embed, and that meant every connection had to be field welded. So the debate was, do you field weld those connections before you raise the steel, or do you bring steel up and then make the field weld in the air so you're sure it fits up? And so that has a huge impact on that process. The museum project also had a big mix of long span trusses that were curved, um, so they're swept in plan, they're sloped, and they're skewed. And they frame sometimes from concrete to concrete, they frame between other trusses, and they frame on one end of concrete and one end of steel. And so you can start to imagine the different tolerances between concrete, between steel, and just making those elements fit up so that they're not just, you know, plumb and stable, but they're in the right place because that builds on the next item and the next item in the process. The erector uh, worked with the detailer to actually work up basically custom erection drawings that help them place all of the uh, connections on the embeds based on how their welders read the drawings. So it wasn't just someone made up a drawing. They said, they talked to their welders and said, how do you want to see this? You know, what information do you want to locate this bent plate or this extended plate on an embed? And so then the detailer customized these drawings so that someone in the field could pull up their drawing, working out of a boom lift, you know, or working off of scaffolding and go, okay, I get it. I've got to measure from here to here and locate this item. And it sounds so easy. I've built things out of wood and I can't figure out how I'm off by half an inch. And these guys, are, you know, these trades people are working in a much more difficult situation and, and they get this, these elements on spot on. They, they did it in advance and the hope was, we do a good job on this, it'll benefit us throughout the process. And I gotta give them a lot of credit because out of the thousands of embed connections they welded, you know, they only redid three. What's critical is you get out in the field and you talk to these folks because I'll go out on a project and I'll have an iron worker say, you know, this, this connection was really challenging. You know, why? It was all, oh, I had guys, you know, tied off, hanging off of here, and it was just really tough to reach in here and get to this. And so what would you do differently? So, oh, you know, if you could pull this connection out just six inches, the guys can access it easily. We can use our normal tools. We're not trying to do something, you know, awkward. It becomes more comfortable. It's more comfortable, it's more efficient, and it's safer. And that feedback is so important. And as an engineer, the folks that do this work to build these projects and get them completed, they've got great insights and great experience. And we really need to trust and rely on them to get feedback, especially as a young engineer. It's invaluable to learn about what it really takes to put something together. I, I think one thing I would tell students is the learning starts now. You, you're at a point in your careers at, at university of you're learning all the basics. You're, you're, you're putting together your toolbox for your career as an engineer. Find someone as a mentor that can help provide their experience, their insight, and learn every opportunity you can. And that's not just folks at your firm. It's let's make a trip to the job site. Let's talk to the project manager. What do they care about and why is it important to them? Talk to an iron worker, talk to a welder. First off, they're great folks and they'd love to talk about what they do. And every opportunity you have, if you can learn a little bit more, take advantage of it. Because um, most of the things I, I learned in college were, were incredibly helpful to get my career started, but I have continued to learn so much in practice. But for me now at this point, when we have young engineers or we have interns, it's how do I get my experience? How can I get it to them as quickly as possible to make them more efficient, to make give them an opportunity to build that, that set of tools in their toolbox to help on projects. It's about relationships, it really is. Talk about ideas, share information, and getting to project sites, getting to a fabricator shop, all of these things will help make you a better engineer.